Hi everyone, my name is Kaustub Kale. This is a very interesting video where we will learn about certain option strategies. Now, we will learn about two option strategies here. One is a bull spread and the second is a bear spread. In a bull spread option strategy, you expect the market to either go down or even if it is going to go up, you expect it may not go up above a certain level for a certain time period. That is a bull spread strategy. The second strategy is a bear, bear spread strategy, which is exactly the opposite, where you expect the market will go up or even if it goes down, it may not go down below a certain level in a certain time period. So let us try and understand this with an example. These are some interesting strategies that you can use every month or every week to earn a small income from the market. So let's try and understand this with an example. Okay, For bull spread, we'll take very uh, simple theoretical examples. Assume market that is Nifty is currently at 15,000. You expect that Nifty may not cross 15,300 uh, in the near term. This is about the bull spread strategy. So you expect that 15,300 in the current current month may not cross because of whatever, whatever reasons, because of your technical analysis, because of your data analysis, or in any other reason that you may have decided upon. So in this case, you know that 15,300 is not going to be crossed. What will you do in this case? You will sell a 15,300 call and to hedge it, you will say buy a 15,400 call or a 15,500 call. Now let's try and take some examples. 15,000 is where the nifty is currently. You sell a 15,300 call at say 100 rupees, which is a theoretical example. And you buy a 15,500 call at 80 rupees. In this case, 100 rupees minus 80 rupees is 20 rupees. This 20 rupees you can pocket, which is basically the premium that you have earned because you have sold a 15,300 call at 100 and you have bought a 15,500 call at 80. So 20 rupees is what you gain. Now, if market till uh, the month end, the monthly expiry that you have chosen, if it doesn't cross 15,300, it closes below 15,300 only, then you get to pocket this premium of 20 rupees, which is 20 rupees per unit. You have to multiply it by the number of units in that lot, uh, which, is, which, which is 75 for the month of June. And from July, it will be 50 units for Nifty. So this is, this is about the bull spread strategy. Now coming to the bear spread strategy, it is the exact opposite here in bear spread strategy. Assume again, Nifty is at 15,000. You think Nifty may not go below 14,700 in the current month. So here again, you do an exact opposite strategy. Here you will not use calls, you will use your puts. So you sell a 14,700 put here and to hedge it, you buy a 14,500 put. You can also buy a 14,600 put or 14,300 depending on your uh, risk appetite and your strategy. But let's assume for a simple sake that you uh, sell a 14,700 put and you buy a 14,500 put to hedge it. So again, 15,000 nifty is what it is currently. You expect markets will not go below 14,700. You sell a 14,700 put at say 100 rupees and you buy a 14,500 put at 20 rupees. Here again, you get that spread, which is the premium to pocket, which is say 20 rupees. So in this case also, if your call go, if your uh, the the market view goes right, that Nifty will not cross below forty thousand, will not fall below fourteen thousand seven hundred, then you get to pocket this twenty rupees premium. So bull spread market upper nahi jayega ya jayega to bhi ek level ke upper nahi jayega. In bear spread market niche jayega, uh, sorry market niche jayega to bhi ek level ke niche nahi jayega, ya fir market upper hi jayega. So this is about bear spread. Now you can combine both these strategies also where you get to pocket both premiums if you think market will be range bound. So assume if market is at 15,000 right now, and I feel that during this month, market will remain between 14,700 and 15,300. Then I can even mix both these strategies, bull spread and bear spread, and pocket the premiums for both ends. This can be also done in stocks, but in stocks, it gets slightly risky or sometimes even liquidity is an issue because volumes are not there. Or you can obviously do it in Nifty or Bank Nifty depending on your analysis of technical or data or quantitative analysis. But this is a very interesting strategy. You can try using the actual prices that you see on the NSC website and do let us know how it worked out. If you have any queries, I am always happy to answer. But again, this is a very interesting strategy which you can use, which you can try and use to earn some monthly income out of uh, the stock markets. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you found this useful as well as interesting.